Little blue, be my shelter, be my cradle, be my wall, be my boat, be my river, be the stillness of the moon. If I could. Place I never knew in your arms, so dark and open. There's a light that brings me back to you because you're not so far away. I hear you say you'll never walk alone. You're going to find a way to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're going to find a way Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing a gorgeous new song from Jacob Collier called Little Blue. So this features Brandy Carlisle on vocals. I'm a huge fan of both of these artists. I've been sort of almost hypnotized in a, in a good way by this song, just playing it. And I had to figure out these chords, I had to figure out what was going on. And when I did, it just gave me a, a big sense of musical joy. So I'd like to pass it on to you, of course. Uh, I'm gonna write this arrangement out and you can check it out on the Patreon, but I sort of wrote almost a James Taylor inspired arrangement. You know, as is normal with Jacob Collier, he's principally a keyboardist, although he plays everything. You know, the guitar part is just floating in and out. So I, you know, I lifted some of the riffs and learned them, but really we need to fill in the parts. So I kind of created a whole beefy arrangement here. You know, there's a lot of interesting chords going on. Obviously, Jacob Collier is you know, incredibly talented with jazz, so he throws in a couple chords that are not typical. Just beautiful writing, beautiful writing. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom on in and we'll get started in this lesson. Okay, so we have a capo on the first fret and you know it's concert E flat, but we're gonna be in D on the guitar. So here we go, key of D. For the intro, we're just grooving on a seventh fret harmonic third string. Kind of replicating the synth. There's a lot of production and Jacob Collier's music, so we kind of want to replicate it a little bit. I'm going one, two, and three, and four, and da, uh, uh, da, 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 da. Then the bass line comes in. The bass line is, you know, something that is a little tricky with the thumb here. So you have a D chord, and all you do is hit uh, fourth string open, then second fret bass, then go to third fret, and leave your index on that second fret third string the whole time to create a G add nine. I'm gonna leave the actual, you know, note for note transcription to the tab. But for now, I'm just gonna breeze through these chords because we wanna just play this song as soon as possible. So after you do bass, 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 okay, you just sort of fill some time. And however you like, honestly, it's good to create your own sort of picking pattern. And then we go third fret, A string open, second fret for our B minor 7. 20202. Oh, oh, that is actually a B minor 7. You could add the pinky if you want. Either way, I'm doing it like this. And then again, you fill some time, then the bass comes in, fifth string, fourth string, and then sixth string open for an E minor chord. And you're doing this E minor 7 with the fifth string, second fret, second string, uh, second string third fret. Place I never knew. Sorry, that's the wrong lyric there. But anyway, E minor seven. Now A seven sus four, and then D. Actually, D sus two. All right? O two three O. So let's review that. All right, so let's review that. I'll sort of hum the melody here after this intro. Ready? Little blue G add nine. Da da da. Good. C 
See how I'm not really worrying too much about the right hand. Just get the chords going. You can always spice it up later. Even if you just slightly, lightly strum this, it's great. We repeat all that. Okay. Now here's the first fill after the second phrase. Okay, and that's what he does on the recording. Totally optional, but it would be O2 hammer on, O2 fifth string, slide to fourth fret, and then D chord. So, kind of arpeggiate a D sus2. So that would be the end of the second phrase from the E minor. Da, 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 da. Good. Third phrase. All right, third phrase, same as before. I go with you to a place I never. So for the E, you can go like that, or like this, or like I showed you, either way. And then A, same thing. You could do that or this. So that's fourth fret is the only difference. To a place I never knew. Okay, now there's a fill to the third phrase when he goes, to the place I never knew. So that's three, two, on a D, first string, second string, third string, pull off to open, second fret, fourth string, hammer on to fourth fret. Totally optional. So to a place, here's the... Okay, now the last phrase, fourth phrase. In your eyes, so deep and open. Um, and then basically same thing. Bring me back to you. Okay, now he goes into the uh, pre-chorus. Because you're not so... So we have a B minor 7. Because you're not... I'm just doing just a straight arpeggio, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd. And filling some time there. Because you're not so... F sharp minor 7. Oh. Way. G add nine. I now D over F sharp. Here you say A minor seven. Love this. Now G over B. You'll never walk alone. And then E minor over B actually. So no bass string. D C major seven to B minor. You can just do a bar chord, but I'm lifting, so the first string is open. B minor seven. All right, so that's a lot. Why don't we cover all of that? after the intro, all on the melody. Ready? Nice and slow. Here we go. Little blue, do, 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 B minor seven, E minor da da da, A. Here's the third phrase. Da da da, da da da. Fourth phrase. Da da da, da 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 da. Quickly and you're not so. There you go, G. Then D over F sharp, A minor seven, G over B E minor. C major 7 to B minor 7. Thing in chorus. Okay? D, D sus2. Don't be afraid of the E minor 7. And then A sus4. And then a regular A. I'm kind of doing a James Taylor thing. Right? Just like a, a sort of a hammer on thing. You're going to E minor, D over F sharp, G. And then back to D. Seven. James Taylor move. Okay. E minor seven, D O F sharp, G, A sus four, and then. Okay. Then you resolve on the D sus two. Now we have. <laughs> okay, so that's the hard hard part here. So he does. This is all sort of combining a bunch of parts, so it's advanced. So you could just do. The easy version would be B flat F C G then uh, sorry B flat F C G G over A D but to combine it 
right? So that would be one three hammer on, B flat, three three five, F, add nine, three three oh one three, and then add C with the third fret first string, G major seven, second fret first string, open third fret, resolve on D. Okay, then Brandy Carlisle comes and sings, and there's a couple changes there. Uh, just he just adds a couple jazz chords. The very last phrase, da -da, fourth phrase, she sings. Da -da -da -da. She, he goes A minor seven, D seven, and then G back to uh, sorry E minor seven back to the normal. Okay, now in the second pre-chorus. It's amazing what he does. Cause you're not so it's just the same as before, but now it goes to G sharp minor, D sharp minor, E major nine. It'll all be on the Patreon. Now B minor seven. Um, A flat over C. <laughs> D flat, B flat, B flat, C major seven over E, and then A over G. Okay. So I apologize, I have to go really fast on this because it's just, it would take too long to explain all these new chords. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can see my fingers and sort of figure it out. But uh, let, me just, let me just run over that a little slower. But not so far, G sharp minor, D sharp minor 7, here's E major 9. O, 7, 6, 8, 7. And then B minor 7, you'll never want. Here's A flat over C. Three, six, five, four, and then D flat bar chord to E flat, B flat to C major seven, and then A over G. So that's oh, sorry, G over A. So that's O oh, five four three. Then we go to the chorus, singing Don't be afraid of the dark, and then we're done because basically this repeats for a while. just loop that for a while and then they do this one more time and then basically there's like sort of this this instrumental part at the end but that's basically the song right there hopefully that makes sense I know it's pretty advanced but um, even if you just take a few of these sections and just piece it together over time I think that's still a worthy thing to do so hopefully you enjoy and let me know if there's any questions and uh, yeah rock on <laughs>